UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 173 pounds. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, the Warrior. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. Well, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship in the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity. The greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Big punch land over the top. How's it gonna follow this? Oh, single collar tie there. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Overhand counter by the Korean Super Bowl. Stop, 
So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know if somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Huge block there. Sneaky head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh. Just misses there with the left. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice right hand. Three minutes to go. He timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. Boy, Thai Club. Over and over the land. Big body kick. Single collar tie now. Big kick land. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. And he caught the kick. Big call from Crush Land. Now he gets back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Choi's kick is blocked. Oh, and there's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not sure it's as good as his, but pretty good. It's not as good as this guy's. Because uh -huh. this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same amount of power to the body and to the head. He's very, very good at throwing uppercuts. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop it. Beautiful strike. Oh, combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate that when he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Ooh, what a punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. And that left hook landed on the button. It's big kick lands. Oh, up the gun. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh! Joy goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stuck. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Round two coming up next. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. So he's landed a few seminal uppercuts already, DC. Gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Straight punch lands. Got the 
a single collar tie. And they separate. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Knee strike coming, it is blocked. Beautiful body kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got it to the on those. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Another strike lands there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Nice punch lands over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh! Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control. There's a song there, right? No one to hold it. No one to hold it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Oh, and he lands a nut. Oh, he hurt him. Nice punch there by Chor. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. And they separate. Blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Final seconds here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Round three next. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. 
Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Third round underway. Right punches there. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, single collar tie now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but no! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, beautiful knee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Punch coming is blocked. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Goodness, what a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 49 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.